So, um, thought this was uh, pretty interesting. You guys know, or I don't know if you do know, but um, things that happen in the divine realm and the spiritual realm, they manifest physically in this world. And so here we see, you know, we're all, um, you know, we know that the day of the Lord is at hand and then the birth of the man child and then the birth of Israel, um, the nation of Israel is happening very soon. And right here says baby boy, baby born with amniotic sac intact. And what does the amniotic sac do? Well, it protects, it protects the child. And um, so the baby was delivered via series section 36 reach, 36 weeks gestation. Okay, so now this is what I want to highlight. First of all, this says Elysium right here. And what Elysium is, is a name for what the Greeks kind of was like heaven for them kind of but it, it wasn't hades it, it wasn't hades that would be like the pagans version of heaven so elysium is not biblical it is not heaven nevertheless it's um this is all symbolism right elysium but here's this baby boy okay now this doctor's name is Dr. Pan. Well, we all know what Pan is. Pan is a demon. It's like a monster with horns and um, very high level, high power demon or whatever, some sort of spirit. Okay, so we opted for this procedure. Um, Due to infant mortality and okay, to be delivered to be delivered inside the same protective membrane to be delivered inside the same protective membrane. Okay, now look at this. In pained and pained <laughs> to be delivered. Okay, you guys, these are scriptures. You guys look at the scriptures. You guys look at the day, the day of the Lord is at hand. I'm sounding the alarm. There is a sword coming to the earth. And life's going to get a lot different. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great dragon, a great red dragon, having seven horns and ten heads. Okay. And the dragon stood before the woman. Right? The dragon stood before the woman. Well, before this baby being born that was protected in the amniotic sac was Dr. Pan. Dr. Pan was before the woman. Okay? Who was giving birth to the baby and who weighs 5.5. Five pounds. We all know 5.5, you guys, is the number of what we know to be the number of grace or um, the number five here. I'm not really into all this stuff, you know, I stick to the scriptures, but um, these are some reasons why five or five five is associated with grace. Um, Um, there are five primary types. Okay, um, uh, what did I want to highlight? Uh, Ten Commandments containing two sets of five commandments. The first five commandments are related to our treatment and the relationship with God, and the last five concerning our relationship with other humans. Whenever we think of 55, usually, in this truth or community, it symbolizes grace, right? So this boy... This man-child, who's a boy, who was had Dr. Pan, who was before him, 
delivering him, but the baby was protected by the amniotic sac, right? And just like here in Revelation, um, to a third part of the tales and discuss, okay, to devour the child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared for by God. So he, the child was caught up to God and his throne. So he was protected because the dragon wanted to eat the man child, right? And here we have Dr. Pan, which is the name for a demon. And they're using the same exact wordings, the same exact wordings that are in the scriptures, you guys. Okay, so we got to know, you guys, it can't be any more clear, okay? That the day of the Lord is coming, like now, like not... Not in a year from now, like it's going to be now. So turn and serve the Lord. Repent. You guys, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to like let everybody know so that you can experience a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and that you can be saved. That's what I want. I want people to be saved, man. I don't care about me. So, um, Pan said the, that the baby who weighed 55 pounds at his birth remained in the am, amniotic sac for an additional two minutes until the doctors opened the membrane and cleared the fluid from his lungs. Um, so, you guys, this was a symbol, something that manifested physically because of what's going on in the divine realm. Elysium, Ascend Tour, Ascend. Saturday, October 19th. No, I'm not saying that because that's a date. I'm not setting, I'm not doing that. So don't put me in that box. Apparently, this happened today or yesterday. So, anyway, you guys, point of this being, all right, is the day of the Lord is at hand. Repent, turn to the Lord, give worship Him, and and love him with all of your heart your strength all your might all your soul don't care what the world thinks about you don't care what other people think about you they're gonna have nothing to do with you when there's people out there um literally rounding people up because of your belief and killing people because of that but you can have salvation that's what i'm trying to get there's a sword coming to you guys, to all of us, there's a sword coming to this world, and we need to be prepared. The way that we be prepared is that we give our life to Jesus Christ and we follow Him with all of our heart, all of our strength, all of our soul. We should do that because we love Him first and foremost. We should do that because we love Him. But if not, just do it out of straight up fear, you guys. That's fine too. That's fine too. And then it'll grow into pure love. You know, I love the Lord more than anything in this world. Straight up. So I'm trying to see if there's any other, uh, like a symbolism or signs or. Anything like that. It's just a physical symbol, you guys. It's a physical symbol of what is going on um, in the divine realm.
and here we see Elysium, you know, Ascend Tor, and we see an angel, and then Michael starts fighting the dragon. You know, I just got done talking about Revelations 12 tonight. So, anyway, you guys, the day of the Lord is at hand. Now is not a time to be playing with your salvation. Follow Him with all of your heart, your strength. You guys, I'm, tr t I'm telling you, I, I put my life on it. It will be the best decision that you will ever make in your life. Who cares what the world thinks? Forget the world. They have nothing to do with your salvation. I love you guys. Father, bless you all, and or Heavenly Father, through the intercession of your Son, my Lord Jesus Christ, King, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer. Father, please send your blessings upon all who watch this video and open their hearts to your truth, to your revelation, to your love, in the name of Jesus Christ, and, through, and in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen and hallelujah. Give Him glory.